Okay, here's how to start a Zoom meeting from the slideshow computer in the sound booth. First, we log into the, uh, the computer and get to the desktop. Then we'll start the Zoom application and select New Meeting. You can see and we'll join with computer audio. That will be the audio through the webcam that in this case is pointed out toward the sanctuary and since it's late at night and there's no lights on in the sanctuary it's dark. Nonetheless uh, normally you'll see the inside of the sanctuary. So to initiate the meeting we'll go to the participants and issue an invitation. Now there's two ways to do this and first we'll look at contacts. These are people who have previously agreed to get a direct Zoom to Zoom um, meeting uh, invitation and they've sort of been pre-cleared. And so I'm gonna invite myself at my home computer from the church to see if I can initiate a Zoom meeting via contact. So, boom, Neil Howard, invite. Immediately, you can hear uh, on my home computer, I, I got this invitation, it's playing a little chime, it's telling me that there's a Zoom meeting for me. I'm gonna join that meeting here I am. I'm going to join with video. And now the host is waiting to admit me to the meeting. So from the uh, slideshow computer, I admit myself to this meeting. And here we, here we, are, we are connected. connected. Now I'm now going, I'm going to, to um, um, mute myself uh, online so I don't get feedback with the microphone that I'm using to narrate this video. But you can see how quickly that works uh, through a Zoom contact. Okay, so we'll end this meeting and start another one in a different manner. End the meeting, end the meeting for all. Okay. So here we are, we're back at the same uh, desktop for the um, slideshow computer at the church, and we're going to uh, initiate a Zoom meeting, but this time we'll start new meeting and join with computer audio. We'll be full screen. We're going to invite a participant this time, invite, but instead of using the contact list, the person we want to invite maybe is not on this list, so we're going to send them an email, and we'll use the email application uh, that is the default email on this computer, which is Microsoft Office Outlook. So we'll click on default email. It writes a uh, uh, an Outlook email, and I will send that to myself. I know I'm a uh, a contact but I'm gonna do it by email just to show that if I'm not a contact that I can do it by email so here we here we have this this uh, meeting uh, in progress and I'm gonna send this invitation to myself at home so sending the invitation here's my home email and I'm in my inbox, but I don't have that email. Let me just see if I can search my email. Searching my email. I'm not getting this email, at least not very quickly. And there's a good reason why I'm not getting that email, and I'll show you why that is. Let's go back to the uh, church computer here, to the slideshow computer, and we will... Uh, escape out of this full screen. Let me get this and um, minimize it. Whoop! Didn't want to minimize it that much. I want I I want to exit the full screen and you notice that uh, Outlook is not running on the church computer. So, okay, maybe that's the reason it's not getting sent. Let's start Outlook on the slideshow computer. You can see that the message is still in the outbox. Ah, now it just went. And here's my home email. Let's see how quickly it, it comes in. There it is. So a couple of seconds later, it looks like it got thrown somewhere. I wonder where that went. Anyway, uh, it came through very quickly 
And uh, the reason that it didn't come through uh, initially quickly is because Outlook was not running on the uh, church computer. So uh, that's the key to sending an, uh, an email invitation uh, to a Zoom meeting is to make sure that Outlook is running uh, when you send that email invitation. Okay, that's it for this video.